Hello, my name is Brian Largent, and this is another episode of 3 Minute Thursday. Today we're going to be talking about IT budgeting. Not CapEx, OpEx, and things that your accountant would care about, but what you need to budget for to keep your sanity and not be surprised by unexpected expenses. So let's dive right in. Since every organization has to have technology to run their business, it's very important to have a plan and a benchmark for success. Are you budgeting correctly, and are you exceeding that budget? IT is one of the greatest cost centers for an organization. Not having a budget is a great way to be surprised by expenses that could hurt your organization's profitability. The primary three categories for your spending line items are software, hardware, and labor. Software is going to include your ERP, electronic health record system, accounting, office suite, antivirus, marketing automation, scheduling, conferencing, and, and many more things. Anything that utilizes software to function. Your hardware is going to include server, network, workstation, laptop, scanner, printer, copier, fax, wireless, mobile devices, any physical hardware device. And then labor is the third, which is contractors, travel benefits, uh, training, external IT system integration, uh, anything that has labor that goes into it. Now, you can break this down into much more uh, high-level categories if you'd like, but we like to work with these three because this is the bulk of your expense. The first thing you're going to do is create a raw list of all of your IT expenses. Get out Excel, create the following header list columns product, unit cost, quantity, monthly cost, annual cost, annual budget, and plus or minus from budget. You're going to fill in every product that you can imagine possibly relates to IT expenses. Now you can take these out later if you decide they're not part of your IT budget, but for now you want to put everything in there so that you can evaluate it possibly as a group within your organization before you kick it out of the budget. This is where we go off the reservation. Most companies don't try to visualize their expenses. We find it to be very important to help our customers visualize where their money's going. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out either Visio, Lucidchart, or whatever your favorite diagramming software is, and we're going to start to break everything down into categories using a tree format. So we started with software, hardware, and labor, and then we broke those down. So software breaks down into subscriptions, licensing, support and maintenance agreements. Now subscriptions are things like Office 365. That's a subscription that you have in your organization. Now it might be able to fluctuate and change every month, uh, but it is a subscription that you might be tied into for a term. The next would be licensing. Now that's going to be things like server operating systems. You maybe buy it once and then in five years or so you're going to buy a new copy of it. We're not worried about breaking them out by what's recurring, what is annual at this point. We just want to visualize what the different categories are. Once you have your list fully visualized, the next thing to do is to highlight the diagram to show where certain expenses are lumped together. For instance, on my diagram, I have broken out Arclight's expenses for an example client. Arclight manages and invoices for Office 365, backup agents, replication, antivirus. You can see it on the screen. Anything in green is something that Arclight manages for a customer of ours. Having this information will tell you when you make a change in one area, what all is going to be impacted by that change. For instance, if you decide that you're going to reduce your Office 365 bill, it's going to reduce your overall bill from Arclight, who is providing that service to you. Now we're going to break it apart. And when we say break it apart, a good way to visualize this is in Excel, you're going to create multiple tabs. The first tab we're going to be concerned with is your recurring hardware software support and service. In that tab, you're going to put anything that has a recurring monthly invoice or annual invoice tied to it. I mean, you could do biannual, however your billing is, but things that you have to pay for on a schedule based on an agreement or a term. Next, you're going to create a tab called Periodic Hard Soft Refresh. Now, that's all your hardware and software that you purchase one time, and you know you're going to have to refresh it at some point in the future. In other words, replace it or upgrade. For instance, Microsoft SQL Server R2, which is what most of the medical record systems run on today, is going to have to be upgraded before 2020 because Microsoft's no longer going to support it, it's going to be end of life, and you will have to upgrade. So you need to plan for that. And when I say plan for that, I'm talking about what is your refresh cycle? When are you going to upgrade? How often are you going to upgrade? You need to have an actual set time and stick to it, otherwise you're going to be at the mercy of emergency planning. Your vendor is going to say, we no longer support SQL Server 2008 R2 as of this date, and they're going to give you probably 30 days to 90 days to get a new database system in place. We've seen it. It happens all the time. Your vendors don't really care if you're prepared for it or not. Okay, time to break down your original list using your visualized list. Start taking those items and putting them into your spreadsheet under one of the tabs that we just created. The example for occurring expenses is shown. An example for one-time expenses is shown on this slide. 
Now it's time to put the planning together. You need to plan for when you're going to replace your software and hardware. You can keep it as long as you'd like. Nobody's going to make you replace it except if you want to maintain compliance. For instance, certain software will expire. In other words, no longer receive updates from the manufacturer. Also, certain vendors will stop supporting certain versions of database, such as SQL Server 2008. They're going to force you to move to a newer version in order to continue to receive updates, patches, and fixes on their applications. ArcLight recommends replacing all of your software and hardware about every five years. This will prevent you from running up against some of those deadlines, such as the SQL Server expiration that happens on uh, 114 of 2020. If you haven't planned for it yet and you're running SQL Server now, you only have one budget cycle to get a new SQL database, migrate your data from the old database to the new database, and get it all fully functional. That's not a small undertaking. By now you've listed every IT expense, you've visualized where your expenses are going, you've broken it down into greater detail, you've created a plan for hardware and software refresh that's reasonable to your organization, but you've not yet compared your IT budget and spending to other organizations that are similar to yours. For instance, Gartner released a report called the Gartner IT Budget Enterprise Comparison Tool. They've pretty much got these for every organization out. The one that I have today is based on healthcare providers. They estimate that the average healthcare provider utilizes about 4.3% of their revenue on IT expenses. Now, 4.3% may seem high, it may seem low. One of the things that Gartner did is they also said how much they felt like an average healthcare provider would spend per employee on healthcare expenses. And that total was $6,400 for 2018. That's per year. Keep in mind that organization size determines how much you spend on IT. The larger the organization, the more you have an economy of scale to keep your costs down. The smaller the organization, the higher the cost. And whatever you do, do not rely on word of mouth, people that you know asking them exactly how much they spend on IT. Most companies have no clue what they spend on IT and will give you erroneous information. If they do know how much they spend on IT, that doesn't mean that they operate the same as your organization. Using a number from a respected source like Gartner will give you a closer benchmark of where your expenses should be than just asking around and doing your own polling. And lastly, you need to review your visualized expenses and lists, make changes as necessary, recalculate totals, rinse and repeat until satisfied, and never be satisfied. You need to be reviewing this on a periodic schedule at least once a year. So I realized there was a lot of information and I went well over three minutes this Thursday, but hopefully it's going to help your organization plan your expenses for IT going forward. If you have any questions or concerns or would like help putting your own budget together, feel free to reach me at the number on your screen. Have a wonderful rest of your week.